In this video, we will show you how to replace your Watts Link trackbar. Let's get started. Okay friends, let's get started on our job. The first thing you need to do is make your way into the trunk and turn off your air ride suspension switch. Once you've done that, you're going to want to safely raise and support the vehicle so you can get underneath. It's a good idea to use a measuring tape and measure between the fender itself and all the way down to where your rim meets that center cover. Once you have a good measurement of that, write it down somewhere. You're going to want this for during the installation procedure. Once you're underneath the vehicle, apply some support underneath your rear differential. Now let's move over to where the air ride sensor connects onto this. Use a screwdriver and carefully pry in between this area. Give this a quick inspection to make sure it is still reusable and it's not damaged in any way and go ahead and set that aside. Let's move over to the passenger side of the track bar. We'll start removing the mounting bolt and nut from the area. For this, I'll use a 15 millimeter wrench to hold the bolt side and an 18 millimeter to remove the nut. Once you have it broken free, it might be easier with a ratcheting wrench. Now we can move over to the driver's side. For this one, it's a little bit easier to access. I'll use my 18 millimeter wrench to hold the nut and a 15 millimeter on the back side here with a half inch gun to remove the bolt. Let's pull that bolt out of there. Make sure we give it an inspection, set it aside. Follow your track bar all the way to the center where it connects onto the top of the differential. Remove your 24 millimeter nut. Use a long pry bar to gently pry this off of its mounting point. The next thing you will need to do is carefully try to pull the differential towards the driver's side so you can remove the passenger side bolt. You can either use a second person with a pry bar or carefully use a ratchet strap coming around the differential, making its way over to the frame so you can draw the differential towards the driver's side just enough to remove that passenger side bolt. Remove your bolt while holding the track bar. Now you can release pressure over on the driver's side and remove the track bar. All right, let's get this out of here. There it is, friends. Now we can slide this into position, making sure that we have the watts link in the proper positioning. You want to make sure you have the hollowed out area heading towards the passenger side facing forward. Let's get this lined up with a center pivot stud. Start on that mounting nut. Make your way to the driver's side. Start on the mounting nut. Before we continue tightening the mounting hardware, Let's make our way out here and double check the measurement. You want to make sure that you're at the original ride height position. That looks pretty much perfect right there. Now I'll make my way underneath the vehicle to tighten those mounting nuts. To gain extra room to make your way underneath the vehicle to tighten your mounting hardware, 
put a jack underneath your rear differential. Carefully start jacking it up and make sure that you're still at the proper measurement in between the wheel and that fender. After that, go ahead and start snugging up your mounting hardware. With the rear differential in the original ride height position, let's go ahead and tighten this center nut. Once it's snug, torque it to 184 foot-pounds. Now we can make our way over to the driver's side to tighten that hardware. Once it's snug, torque it to 66 foot-pounds. Do the same on the passenger side. For the passenger side, you'll find that it's impossible to get a torque wrench in this area. Make sure it's nice and tight, keeping in mind that the torque should be 66 foot-pounds. There we are. Let's remove our suspension level sensor bracket from the track bar arm. You'll find that you have two different size nuts. One's an 8 millimeter, the other will be an 11 millimeter. Remove the pair and the bracket. Let's install our bracket onto the new track bar arm. Looking at the arm itself, you can tell that the holes that are for the mounting points are slotted. So you want to make sure that you put the bracket into the same position as when you had removed it originally. I'll get this approximately where it was on the original track bar. Start in both of these mounting nuts, we'll snug them up. Once they're snug, torque the smaller nut to 97 inch pounds. Torque the 11 millimeter nut to 107 inch pounds. Now we can take that level sensor rod and put it in position. Lock it in. Make sure it's secure. Make your way out from under the vehicle. Make your way into the trunk. Put your air suspension in the on position. Go ahead and shut your trunk. Let's make our way back over to the wheel well just to confirm that we are at the proper ride height. At this point, you wanna go ahead and take your vehicle for a road test. Let it settle in a little bit. Make sure that you don't hear any funny noises and get yourself safely down to your local alignment shop. Aside from that, thanks for watching. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.